It's been a busy week at Longhorn Steakhouse. Welcome to Longhorn. Straight in to the left, the host will take care of you. Okay. 80 employees were hired at Tupelo's newest restaurant. Officials with the Florida-based steakhouse chain have had their sights on the city for a while now. We have picked a perfect location for the Longhorn. It's right near the mall and it has a lot of neighboring restaurants and it, it pulls from a lot of surrounding communities. In the past few years, commercial development in the area has been slow, but things are picking up. Two hotels have opened their doors, construction almost complete on a third one. There are also a couple of restaurants planned for the Northern Commercial Corridor. While sports-related tourism is credited in part for the upturning commercial building, Tupelo Mayor Jack Reed Jr. says the soon-to-be-open Toyota plant is a major factor driving the building boom. That's one reason you see our hotels uh, filled right now with workmen and, and uh, people that are in that circle of uh, interest around the, the automobile assembly whole operation as well as the suppliers. Uh, the apartment rentals uh, are up for the same reason. New commercial ventures mean a lower unemployment rate and an increase in sales tax revenue. Overall, Mayor Reed believes the entire area is on the road to recovery after a painful recession. The twin towers of economic development in the south, and the south is leading the country, are Golden Triangle and Tupelo right now. It's, it's, it's a really microeconomically uh, speaking, when you just look at our areas, uh, we're in a great position to come out of this thing. And work has already started on the northern loop. This will connect West Tupelo to North Gloucester Street and Barnes Crossing Road. Already a Tennessee developer has announced preliminary plans for a major retail center just west of here, anchored by a Target store. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.